Even though I need time for myself to reset and take some space, I am also not giving up hope on this marriage. Don't drop the fishbowl. We both didn't want to give up, so Dr. Pepper gave us a fishbowl of questions for trying to work on our friendship in that stage of setting the foundation so that now we can just focus on having fun and, you know, just enjoy each other. I can go first. Okay. All right. Uh, my boundaries are... Oh, so fitting for you. Um, yeah, I think it's just um, having enough space for when we feel like we need space and just taking the time we need. You're not like pressuring to like hang out all the time, which I think yeah. we're doing a great job of. Mm -hmm. Next question. The hardest thing I've had to forgive is my dad. I feel like I actually have a lot of resentment issues against him for like pushing me as hard as he did growing up. Definitely with sports and like other stuff, like decisions he made on behalf of me that I didn't have to say in that I didn't think was fair. Um, that I feel like I had to like unpack and get through when I lived at home. He definitely like shaped me to who I am, but he just cussed the line of like pushing too hard a lot of the times and I had to work through that in therapy. Similarly, my parents, they're good people and I don't think they've had the best way of dealing with situations. There was something I thought they could have handled better, you know, explain that to them and, and go through it and I just found myself getting really frustrated because there was no like desire to want to work on those types of things. And it's hard for me because I love changing things and making things better. Um, <laughs> uh, I want to be like, hmm, okay. Name one thing you've given up for difficult reasons. Um. I've given up trying to have a relationship with my sister. It's super hard, because she is my sister. Um, and obviously, I want a relationship with her. But I just got to the point where it was causing a lot more suffering than happiness. And, you know, in this part of my life, I'm really just focused on my happiness. You know, I don't, I'm not giving up on the relationship, but I've given up, like, making an effort towards it. My turn. I'm sweating. If you need a minute, I'll take a minute. Just when have you go. given up on something that you wish you hadn't? Tell me the story. <sighs> Can we pass on one? I think it's just like, when have we given up on something? Or maybe when have you given up on something or someone? I don't have one for that. Sometimes I wish I didn't give up on my dream. And that was to be, I always wanted to be Britney Spears. That wasn't gonna happen. But I really wanted to do broadcasting and I really wanted to be like a sports reporter or like news anchor. I just wanted the microphone. I just wanted to report on TV. That was like my dream. One thing I haven't told you, which would give you much more insight into who I am. <sighs> Ooh, maybe we, maybe we come back to that one. Why is this so hard? Why is it so hard? Um. Like, it's hard, but like... You know, you may be able to just rattle really important things off, like like it's whatever, but I'm spending like a lot of thought and it's... So am I. Um, it's hard. Yeah, it is hard, but this is hard. This is what this is. Putting it on camera, I don't think it does anyone any good, so I only want the good to show. Is it your turn or my turn? Do you want me to go? Yeah. 
What worries you the most at the moment? Ooh. Um, what worries me in the moment is that this reset and your plan for the reset is going to backfire and it's going to make us not be civil at the end of it. Same. I am getting tapped out. I'm losing consciousness. We were in here for two hours the other night. We'll survive. Do you want me to faint? Oh my god, you're fine. Suck it up. I'm uh, not. What have you fought the hardest for? Tell me the story. You ever do push-ups in a sauna? Uh, no, by you, choice. You know why you can't Purposely. last too long in a sauna? No doing push-ups? Because you'll faint. Oh. It's the concept of exerting energy, so. We're really good, we're okay. But yeah, thanks for that be, analogy. You don't have to be like that. Because you're making it like this, because this is like, you don't understand, like, when you act like that, again, it makes me feel like What do you fought the hardest for? Tell me the story. Um, honestly, probably for us in this marriage. Yeah, same. Our story, it's been one for the books. My turn? Yeah. I can be sensitive about blank and why. I'm sensitive about everything and I'm sensitive to everyone. A lot of times I think I, it's because I really care. Because I never want people to think that I'm doing anything like without good intent. Yeah, I think uh, for me I get sensitive when someone questions my character um, or makes something bigger than what it is. So, um, yeah. So you don't keel over and die. Should we get out of here? Keel over and die? I was just sitting, you're saying you, I was sitting in the hot tub and you're comparing that to like. I'm just basically being dramatic because you're being dramatic. And so I was being dramatic on behalf of you being dramatic. Cool. All right, should we head back? Yeah. I was not expecting to feel that and Emily told me to suck it up, which was interesting to hear. You know, obviously, I want her to be supportive and caring and nice, um, but, you know, she wasn't. Not a great feeling to hear, so. Okay, so this is what you do every time we're filming, is we're doing something that's like, is vulnerability, and something you know no matter what that we have to get through, when we're in the hot tub for like two hours the other night, I'm the hot tub longer all the time. I'm not exerting energy in the hot tub. I'm just sitting there. Like, this is straight up heavy <laughs> thinking brain galleries. Like, this is a totally different experience than a Wednesday night hot tub session. While I still appreciate and know this is hard for him, it's, it's just unnecessary. And it's the round and round vicious cycle of just, it's all about him and his appearance, and it's never about me. I don't need you to agree with me. I need you to have my back. And you really don't understand the difference. Um, I like, it's OK to just But, like, you need to have mine, and having my back is not acting like that. I'm not giving up. I just don't think we can even properly have a marriage like we're supposed to. And when he still is answering questions in the way he is and acting the way that he is, regardless of it, it's just it's validating all of my thoughts and what I said. Like, I don't know what is gonna get through to him at this rate.